Hello, how are you? This is Joe. Welcome to uh, today's video on Feng Shui Superstar Program for Yearly Forecast. Uh, I would like to uh, first of all wish everybody a very prosperous and happy new year. Okay, I wish you good health, I wish you good luck, and I uh, hope that your new year will be full of abundance. Okay, so uh, my objective of doing this video is to share with you what are the exclusive knowledge that I'm going to impart on you and coach you in this Feng Shui Superstar program, which is going to take place on over this weekend on the 6th and 7th January in Singapore at my training room. Okay, basically this is a, a new program. Okay, uh, I mean, I have been doing this thing for many years, but uh, recently I came up with this program with the uh, so-called objective for you to equip yourself with the right skill set to do yearly feng shui forecast. Uh, because I know that some of you are actually uh, practicing feng shui or you guys are part-timing and sometimes you are uh, sort of invited by certain companies to do some forecasting, some outlook to do presentation. Okay, so I there are some demands, so therefore I came up with this course, hopefully to address your needs. All right, so let's move on. Uh, I have been doing so-called uh, this kind of uh, feng shui yearly forecast for many years. And uh, over here, I show you some of, the, uh, some of my previous engagement, like for example, Samsung, SIM, Capital Land. Uh, this one is by Easy Link, you know, in 2016. And uh, these are, of course, some of the events that I have been uh, engaged to do this kind of forecast like uh, Aquarama, Singtel, etc, etc. Alright, and in this case Prudential, Smart Expo and during condo launches as well, okay? So with all these experiences, okay, I hope to uh, use this course, use this platform to share with you, you know, um, how to do a proper and enticing, appealing presentation to your audience, okay? and you know, it is the time of the year again. So, I believe um, most of us are very curious to look into uh, what's going to be in store for us in the 2018 dog year. Okay, so if you happen to walk past some of the major bookstores or even newspaper stand, you will see that there are many this type of uh, so-called uh, yearly forecast um, almanac okay, or books written by different masters, different authors, some in uh, Chinese, some in uh, English, uh, some from Taiwan, some from Hong Kong, some from Malaysia, you know. And of course, they only have one objective. They want to present to you so-called uh, the various 12 zodiac signs and their, how's their luck, you know, in 2018, okay. But uh, basically, how do they do it, you know? That is the question that you may be asking, okay? Uh, personally, for me, I'm also invited to so-called contribute articles every year on a yearly basis to uh, some of the magazines. Like in this case, this is the New Age Parent. Uh, I'm actually contributing an article to talk about 2018 Zodiac Forecast. And let's take a look at, uh, for example, the Snake Zodiac sign. Over here, the place where I circle, I actually listed down some of these stars. So, for example, okay, there are auspicious stars like Emperor Star, Dragon Virtue, Nuptial Bird, and there are also inauspicious stars which I have written there like Death God, Blood Dagger, Sudden Failure, Heaven Mishap. You know, um, first of all, how on earth did I come up with all these so-called stars names? Okay, do I pluck from the air? No. Okay, actually, for us, we base on a set of formula and tables to perform the calculation. So now let me just recap. In 2018, say you are a snake zodiac sign, you will see auspicious stars like this on the on my left hand side, year well, Tapshire Bird, Dragon Virtue, Emperor Star. Okay? And inauspicious star on your right, like that, got passing cloud, blood dagger, so on, so forth. Okay, and uh, what do they mean actually? 
Okay, the sound quite scary, right? But what do they actually entail? How is it going to affect you uh, in terms of your love life, your career, your health, your relationship, so on and so forth? Okay. So have you ever wondered how we or those uh, so-called famous Feng Shui Master, how do they come up with those stars names and how do they analyze, you know? And this is actually the crux of this entire program, uh, all right? If you have been very curious and interested to learn how to do so, of course, uh, what we're going to cover here in this two-day program, first of all, is that we, or uh, personally, I am going to teach you how to calculate and derive at the various heavenly stems and earthly branches, sun sun, or some call it the symbolic star or auxiliary star. Uh, mainly for zodiac forecast purpose, okay? There are at least more than 60s, okay? 60 of them. Okay, part of it is good, part of it is not so auspicious. And I'm going to teach you how you calculate. And I'm going to, I'm going to write down for you all the meanings for every star. So that after this course, you are able to work out, say, for 2019, Okay, for every individual zodiac, all right, uh, what kind of stars is coming in to affect them? And you are able to also write down the implications, okay, for those who are affected. All right, I'm going to teach you how to present them, okay? I'm going to teach you how you can present them, those stars, those zodiac signs, to the audience or the reader in case you are contributing an article like me. Say, this is just one of the many, many tables on the symbolic star or sun sa. Like for example, uh, these are quite common if you pick up one of those uh, so-called uh, Chinese almanac or the 2018 forecast, you will see some of these stars there. Okay, so this is just one small little part of the uh, many stars out there. Okay, I'm going to tell you and give you all the meanings of all the stars. All right, I've actually compile all this thing over many many years okay but uh, I believe that so far there isn't any program or there isn't any book that's specially written okay for uh, this aspect okay so uh, in fact uh, besides the uh, so-called the yearly sensa, I also talk about the spatial sensa for construction related activity you might have seen uh, this kind of term like uh, okay, in English, this is a translation. All right. And every year they rotate, you see, these stars rotate. Okay. And these stars we are talking about feng shui related activity, construction related activity. Which sector should we touch? Which sector should we not touch? You see, besides what we have uh, normally, uh, what we have already known, for example, Maybe like five yellow, tai shui, okay, sun sa. You might have already known this uh, so called very famous or infamous so called uh, annual affliction. Well, I'm going to give you more, okay, so that you can do your forecasting to your audience. Second takeaway is that I'm going to teach you how to derive at the Li Chun Ba Zi, okay, and this is actually the Li Chun Ba Zi for 2018. Okay, Li Chun means the beginning of spring. Okay, and I'm going to teach you how to do a general analysis on the market and business outlook based on this part. Okay, so uh, when you come, I'll tell you even like uh, what kind of uh, sickness or illness will be more prevalent in 2018. What kind of industry, for example, will gold price go up? Okay, how is the property industry? so on and so forth because basically different elements different five elements represent different industries and other aspects as well okay so this is the second takeaway and i'm going to talk about how do you use your personal year pillar okay they are all together 60 of them and i'm going to teach you how to do it for every individual year pillar against the 2018 Luck pillar. Okay, Wu Shi year. Okay, so of course, when you come to next year, Zi Hai year, how you're going to do it? So that you can actually come up with a book, you know, if you want to, on the 60 pillars. 
I will teach you the technique to do it. All right. One of the very major takeaway of this program is of course Qi Men Tun Jia. All right. So Qi Men Tun Jia, what we are going to teach you here is called yearly Qi Men Tun Jia Han, which is rarely taught in the market. What you have seen today is the hourly Qi Men Tun Jia Han. Okay, the hourly one. Every two hours, the chart will change. But this one is one year, one chart. And in the past, the military strategies like Zhuge Liang, Liu Bo Wen, they will use this to advise the emperor on the annual outlook of, say, any disaster, uh, events, industry, okay, which direction, which sector in the world, in the country, okay, is uh, doing well, which sector is not doing well, okay. So all this will be covered. I will introduce to you all the various components of Qi Men Tun Jia, like the stars, the doors, the deities, including the purple white flying star. Okay, I will tell you how to use that to, of course, do the feng shui implementation. Okay, so I will teach you first of all how to use it for personal luck and global forecast. Then, of course, as mentioned, how to use this for feng shui implementation and activation. I'm going to share with you how to find out your petty people location how to invite the wealth god based on this formula okay some of the formula i'm going to teach you how to of course uh, find your uh, so-called yearly academic sector wealth sector peak blossom sector okay uh, and also one more thing before i forget is to ground your rebellious child i'm going to share this formula with you okay so to sum it up do you want to present the yearly feng shui forecast to your audience but you don't know how to begin? Do you want to learn how to plot and analyze the yearly qi men tun jia chart for personal and global luck prediction? Okay, do you want to learn, of course, how to derive at the positive and negative parts of stars, the shen sha, that are purely meant for the zodiac science calculation every year? And do you wish to be the feng shui superstar standing on stage to speak confidently to a huge crowd or even write a book or write an article to magazine every year? And if your answer is yes for all the questions above, you may find this course useful. All right? And I will definitely hope to see you. And I will really want to share with you all my experiences on how to write because it is a skill, it is an art to do the presentation and to write. Uh, whatever analysis you have, okay? So that main thing is you want to appeal to your audience so that you do not fall asleep, <laughs> all right? And if you are keen, this is the email. Email to me, Joe, or Mr. Lester, my manager, okay? And say that you are keen and ask for the special launch price in 2018. We only conduct this course once a year. The next time, will likely to be end of this year, okay? Just to recap, it is on the 6th and 7th January, this coming weekend, 10 to 5, Singapore, we'll give you the detailed address, okay? Uh, lunch and course material provided, voice recording is allowed, okay? So, thank you very much for, uh, for watching this video, and I hope to see you in this program. Thank you very much for your attention.